welcome back to the Scott Reed project and today it's a little short video showing you how to keep an edge on your knives now some of you may or may not have seen my how to sharpen a butcher's knife if you look down there in the comments you'll see the link and that's how I show you how to put an edge back on your knife with an oil stone or a wet stone but today I am going to show you how to use this much used tool the steel or the homing steel as you go past butcher shop you'll see the guys on a regular basis picking their knives up giving it a quick shifty it's a great way of keeping a tip top edge and I shall show you the correct way to use that today you know I get a lot of questions a lot of comments people asking me about my knives and, and sharpening them and I thought about time I did a video on using the honing steel now I just want to show you this this is the certificate I won in 1990 for the Young Butcher of the Year. I got a certificate, a medal, a cup, and believe it or not, those. That is the original set I won in 1990. All Victrinox, a Victrinox 6 inch boning knife, a Victrinox 12 inch steak knife, and this steel. And the reason I'm saying that is these steels, you buy them once and they will last a lifetime. And I leave a lot of comments and have a lot of talk with people. They say, you know, what knives you use, always Victrinox, looked after. By that I mean, you know, when the blade gets dull, get it on the wet stone. But part of it is keeping a nice edge on it through the day using that. And you know, some guys, they hold on to their steels for years. Like I said, 25 years old still in good condition so right let's get to the main event and I shall show you how to use this so using the steel then it's all about the angle of the dangle the angle it should be between say 15 and 22 degrees now the easiest way to do that I shall show you I shall pull the camera up for close-up but if you were to put your knife side on to your steel is 90 obviously half it is 45 and half it again you're talking 22 and just tighten it up a little bit and that is what you're looking for and basically heel to point but that is just to show you the angle you are looking for if you can see that right then down to business several ways you can use your steel I mean we've all seen the celebrity chefs on telly giving it all that you know and tons and tons and tons of scrapes there's no need once you've got a decent edge on you can steal your knife maybe six eight times regularly through the day or if you're cutting up a lamb or a deer or a pig you know cut a bit maybe half hour and just get your steel out and just give it a few nice strokes and it will hone it back up again right the two techniques Hold your steel, obviously find your angle, so 90, 45, about 20, and then you're just looking to heel to tip. And then the other side, and it will become muscle memory. You will remember that angle, and that's all you're doing. Now, I know that looks complicated to some, so the way I did it when I was training, and I still use it because I think it's a great solid method, is to get your steel and anchor it. If it's a bit slippy, put a wet cloth down. And like I said again, 90, 45, about 20, and then just heel to tip. And that is perfect. Same with the steak knife then, 90, 45, about 20, and again, heel to tip, heel to tip. You know, and, and you haven't got to do, like I said, all that flashy, you know. Just take your time, you know, and get the job done. And you can hear that nice rasping sound as you're gently honing that blade. And here, with the, my knife of choice now, which is a Victrinox 5 inch semi flex. Same again, just get that angle. You know, 
a little bit of pressure for the first few, uh, few strokes but like I said you're only honing it every five or ten minutes and that is a great way of sharpening your knife. So we just run through that then we've got the method where the steel is horizontal again you can do it away from yourself so we find it 90 45 about 20 you know and it's just practice just keep nice and safe make sure you keep your hands your fingers behind that guard you know you don't want to be losing fingers but like I said fail safe just keep it up like that and obviously there will come a time when no matter how much stealing you do to your knife you know the edge is gone it's blunt and that's when you need to get it on the whetstone guys so just look down there in the comments and you'll see that video how to use a whetstone but between that one and this one you should keep your knives in tip-top condition and when I say to people you know you buy these knives once you really really do there is a kit you need 25 years old the proof is in the pudding so if you like what you've seen here today on the Scott Reed Project, guys, please subscribe by clicking down there somewhere. Also find me on Facebook at Scott Reed and the Scott Reed Project. Also on Twitter up there at the Scott Reed Project. You know, get on Facebook, friend me, our friends are back. If you've got any questions, we can talk on Facebook Messenger. We've, there is an actual, some of you might be aware, we can talk face to face on the talk button. There's a lot of guys are chatting to me that way, you know, it's an easier way and it's nice to hear some voices, you know, and some interaction. So share it with your friends, like it, subscribe, and until next time, take care and get sharpening them bad boys. All the best.